What is up guys? Today I wanted to talk about why my Mazda Speed 6 has crashed and burned. Now this thing has been amazing to me, but unfortunately I think it's time to move on. Now this car has been so good to me and I've had it since it was stock, but there are a few problems with it. Now when I first got this car, this guy tried to tell me that these cars could be crazy expensive. I've refused to believe him, but unfortunately I learned that the hard way. Now these cars are crazy expensive and what ends up happening is they're not expensive when you buy them and they're stock, but you tend to modify these cars because they are so easy to modify and they make such a big difference. Now what I ended up doing first was I changed my turbo and I ended up going with the Garrett GT28 turbo and that turbo was my first ever upgraded turbo and it was amazing. But what ended up happening is once I replaced the turbo, I reused the OEM gasket from the original turbo. And normally that could be okay, but my gasket was just really old and it ended up disintegrating. So that caused a huge exhaust leak and it sounded terrible, ran like crap. And I learned that you got to upgrade a whole bunch of things, sometimes some unexpected things when you replace a new part like the turbo. So I ended up replacing the turbo again with a different turbo and then I went with a new exhaust manifold gasket. But what ended up happening is when I replaced the turbo the third time or you know the second and third time they really needed a new manifold with it because the manifold I had was getting pretty old and it was getting a little rusty and I wanted a better looking one and I didn't want to worry about any performance issues of an old manifold or any cracking of an old manifold. So I just decided to upgrade it. But what ended up happening is when I upgraded the turbo manifold, I had to freaking change everything. I had to change my downpipe. I had to change my uh, freaking exhaust. I had to change this guy right here, my wastegate. So basically, once you start changing one thing, you have to change a whole bunch of things. And you don't normally take into account all of the freaking different modifications you're gonna need. So my advice to you guys is when you buy a car like this and you plan on modifying it, make sure you freaking plan your build out and make sure you have the money to build it. Now for my exact case, this car has just gotten way too expensive and I am ready to move on with it. Now my favorite parts about this car are the freaking engine, the turbo, the transmission, but not the whole drive line. I don't like the freaking transfer case, the rear diff, all that stuff is good in theory and all wheel drive is good in theory, but the problem with all wheel drive is that it just gets expensive over time. When you break something or when you have to change something to handle more power, it just gets ridiculously expensive. If I had say a Mazda Speed 3 and I had front wheel drive on this car, I would only have a transmission to brake and axles to brake. Whereas with the all wheel drive car, you break your transmission, you could break your transfer case. You obviously have four axles instead of like the two power axles in the front you know, if it was front wheel drive, and then you got your rear diff. So there are so many other things to break with the Speed 6 that I think it might be time to move on. Now, obviously I've put so much time into this engine and this transmit, or excuse me, I put so much time into the engine and the turbo and all of that setup. So I'm obviously not gonna sell that stuff or change it. I'm gonna be using the engine for my next build. Now, obviously there are only a few cars that have the same exact engine. So most of you guys probably know what I got for my second car, or my new car rather. But I'm gonna be unveiling my new car in tomorrow's video. I know you guys will like it, and I know you guys are probably bummed about the news for this car, but don't worry, I'll eventually return back to the Speed 6 because I'll always have the parts and I'll always have this engine and this whole setup. So I'll be back and I'll have definitely a lot more Mazda videos coming, but I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this thing and move on. I will be giving this whole chassis to a friend, so don't worry about that. They will get to try their luck with it, but for this one, guys, I'm gonna have to let you go. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.